Hi, I'm Liz Cortez with Business Trends TV, and today I am joined by Evan Kastenbaum from Optics Family Eye Care. Hi, Evan. Hi, Liz. How's it going today? Great. Thank you so much for being on our interview today. So um, just so that you know a little bit more about Evan, he um, is an optician, and he helped um, his dad really expand his eye care practice. Um, they've been in practice for 30 years, and they've gone from having one eye doctor to now three, correct? What else have you done for the practice? Lots, lots of things. So you have an MBA, and you're just really great with business and in the eye care world. So our goal is, our goal is to make sure when the patient walks through the door, everyone is treated like a family. Oh, excellent! So, so family is a big, big focus for um, a family eye care, right? So I know that you're watching this video right now because you want to know how do you find a great optometrist. And so, Evan, I'd like for you to share um, with the person that's watching this video right now how how do you do that? There's so many to choose from when they go on Google or they look on their smartphone. So what what is your advice? Well, the the first thing you wanted to do is. Find, about, find out about other people's experiences. So there are two main places to look. One is directly on Google. So if you search optometrist or search eye doctor in, in your city, um, a lot of doctors will come up and to take a look at um, who has five-star reviews and how many reviews do they have. If they have zero or, or one, um, that may not be the best choice, uh, but if they have five or ten or more re re reviews, you know enough people that went on there and felt compelled to, to share their experience. The other site um, uh, you, you should go on is Yelp. Search for a doctor if you already have a doctor's name from a family or friend look online for them too. Um, and again, look at the reviews and see what the other patients' experiences were. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with us about looking at their reputation, looking at Google, looking at Yelp, reading about what other patients' experience was. That way, you can uh, make sure you're choosing the right optometrist for you and for your family. So um, when it comes to, you know, experience, what advice would you give? Like, are there different um, schooling, extra certifications or extra licenses or anything, any advice you'd give to the person who's watching this video right now? Sure. So in New York, it's important everyone has a New York State license, and there are some doctors who focus just on doing an eye care refraction, just on finding what your eyeglass prescription is. But it's really important, just like you go to the internist every year, or if you're not, you should, you should be seeing your optometrist every year also. Um, the, the doctor should be qualified and certified to take care of all your, your eye health needs and write a prescription for medication if needed. Um, many eye doctors can also find high blood pressure or, or other problems you may have that you can find through the eyes, even if they're not directly related to the eyes. So it's important you, you find an optometrist that's not only looking at your eyeglass prescription, but looks at all those other areas as well. Oh, that's excellent. So, um, what what advice would you give to the person watching this video that you know is looking at a couple different optometrists? And when it comes to like quality of service or just you know the staff or the doctor, what what do you think is the most important characteristic or quality that um, you know a really really great optometrist practice would have? Right. So you want to find someone or you, you want to find a practice who, who could take care of your whole suite of needs um, from if you got something in your eye, if you have allergies in your eye, to helping you 
find the right pair of eyeglasses so you could look good and feel good to fitting you with the most comfortable contact lens. So you, 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 you want to find a place who could provide all the services for you uh, uh, to make sure that they could take care of your needs. Okay, great. So find a practice that will take care of all of your needs, no matter if it's dry eyes or any contacts or you want glasses, whatever it may be. You want to choose something that has all those different options. So great. So I know that um, you you provide a great experience when you know patients come over to Optics Family Eye Care. So Evan, why don't you just kind of paint that picture of the experience one would have coming to um, see one of your doc eye doctors over there. Sure. The, the goal at the goal at I at Optics is we are a center of excellence. So when your family comes in, um, we want you to have a great experience. So it starts off that even before you get to the office, we know your time is so valuable. So we want to help you. Um, fill out all the forms online, submit them online. We want to make sure when we schedule your appointment, we're running on time. So if you come in during your lunch hour, which we know is very valuable, or first thing in the morning, or even on a late night, um, we want to respect your time. So we do whatever we, we can to, to make your experience go smooth. The other thing, when you come to our office, we keep uh, hundreds of contact lenses in stock, so if you need contacts, you could take them home with you the same day. We also have thousands of eyeglass frames to choose from. So when you come in, our goal is to take care of all your needs, respect your time, and make sure you have a great experience. I like that. Come in, it's quick, and to get everything that you need. You don't have to wait weeks or months to get those frames or get fitted for the right type of contacts. You have them there on um, the, at the location, so that's excellent. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share about your practice? Uh, well, th th this year is actually our 30th anniversary. My father started the practice 30 years ago, and just last week we saw patient number two. So she's in our computer system number two. She comes here, her kids come here, her kids got married, and and, and and they have kids now, so it's such a great feeling to see multi-generations of family coming by at Optics, uh, and, 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 and when they tell us how they love us and, and they come here and they wouldn't go anywhere else, it makes our whole team feel so good. Oh, I love it. The whole family, grandparents and children and grandkids, everyone just coming over there. So that that's great to have just multiple generations and then really build up. You know, 30 years, that's a great accomplishment um, for your whole family and then all the other doctors at the practice as well. So um, Evan, my last question for you is I know you have something, you know, special for, you know, people that are watching this video. How do they get in contact with you? Where, where do you want to send them? The best place is, is to hit onto our, our website. Um, we put special offers on there all the time. Our goal is to have trunk shows throughout the year so you could come in and see the, the, the whole line of different frame brands. It has our hours where they're very early in the morning till, till late at night. So feel free to go to our website. You could call us or submit your appointment request directly from the website. Oh, excellent. I put up your website link right here below this video. It's also here on the screen um, with your phone number so you can give them a call or even easier, just go to the website, book your next appointment online. So just click that link right below this video. So thank you so much, Evan, for doing this interview and really educating us on how to find a great optometrist. And um, so I just appreciate your time for taking this time to do this interview and educating the person watching this video right now. So click that link below and get in connection with optics today. Thank you. Thanks, Liz.